Welcome back to Dale Florentin Padilla, Color My World. Today, I'll be showing you how I painted this. Eight running horses in a river valley. This is not a brush by brush tutorial, but I am going to show you the entire process of this painting. It took me 24 days to complete this painting. This is a commissioned painting with no exact references. My client just told me to paint eight horses running towards the viewer. It was not easy, but thank God I've done it. First off, I would like to thank the person who gave me this project. She gave me the idea on how the horses should be facing. It's related to Feng Shui. The eight running horses symbolizes courage and perseverance. Just like I have mentioned in my previous blog about eight running horses painting, its representation, where to hang it, and so on. Thank you so, so much, Auntie Thelma Padilla Manalagon and Dr. Maritoni Padilla Manalagon for commissioning this painting. Thank you for your trust. So let's get started. For this particular painting, I am using an 18 inches by 24 inches stretch canvas. As you can see, I have done the sketches of my 8 horses. For the composition of this painting, there are dos and don'ts which came from my client, and that is the reason why I arranged the 8 horses in this particular manner. The V formation, which is one of the requirements of my client. And another one is that the horses should be running towards the viewer. So let us see how we can convert this into an interesting painting. I've started to paint the background, which I usually do every time I do the painting. In here, I'm creating my tree shapes and bushes. Right now in this stage, I am not thinking about detailing. I'm just dabbing my brush and paint to create some tree shapes from far away. Right now I'm creating a rock formation besides the waterfalls using my palette.
As you can see or noticed, I am painting step by step, directly putting details in every progress of my painting. This way, I see to it that every object in my painting is detailed enough until I reach the full painting, then I go back every inch of it and put my final touches on it. So let's start painting our horses. This will be the interesting part of our project. Challenges will be here. So I'm starting with the first horse from my right. As usual, I'll be painting the horses individually as they have different shapes, colors, and movements. So, as we go along with the painting process, let me share to you some thoughts. In this painting, I'll be incorporating waterfalls, River, Valley. Did you know that? Water is considered as one of the most powerful of five elements in Vastu, as well as in Feng Shui. Water is the strongest source of flowing energy in our life, as its very essence lies in movement and flow. There are many sources of water elements such as the lakes, rivers, rain, snow oceans etc but one source that is believed to represent the very essence of water element is waterfall moving and flowing water in full force and energy it is the symbol of abundance waterfall painting channelizes positive energy towards your business and career have calming effect on your mind which reduces the stress level and keeps you healthy and happy according to feng shui the painting of waterfall is a source of abundant flow of wealth and good fortune. While painting a river, they say that painting of a flowing river keeps the energy flowing and prevents it rather from being locked. Its real essence speaks of movement and the flow of life. It invites everyone to move and bend and not to stay rigid or struggle. Moving and flowing water can encourage those who come into contact with it to accept continual change and not to struggle unnecessarily in life. Flowing water can ease tensions and allow the vibrations of the life force to enter us and nourish our aura. Another object that I incorporated in this painting is the mountain. They say that mountains are thought to contain divine inspiration and are the focus of pilgrimages of transcendence and spiritual elevation. Mountains surpass ordinary humanity and extend toward the heavens. Mountain symbolize existency and permanency and, at their peak, signify the state of absolute consciousness. One more thing about the mountains, they are very useful for human well-being. Because the mountains are a storehouse of water, many rivers have their source in the glaciers. In the mountains, reservoirs are made, 
and the water is harnessed for the use of people. Water from the mountains is also used for irrigation and the generation of hydroelectricity. The river valleys and terraces are ideal for the cultivation of crops. Well, as I have shared enough, let's go back to my painting. I am now with my third horse. As you can see, I always start with my dark colors to form the shape of my horse.
Now, it's time to paint the shadows of the horses. By using my palette knife, I am creating the bark of a tree. I have to let the paint dry a few minutes or hour before proceed painting the leaves of the tree. This time I am using a round brush to paint the leaves. By dabbing the brush on the paints, you'll create a beautiful character of the leaves. Now, let's paint some rocks in here, using a palette knife. Mind you, palette knife are pretty useful and fun to use, if you're aiming a painting character that is embossed. The thing is, you'll be using a lot of paint to achieve your goal.
In here, I'm focusing on the water flow of the river and adding details onto it. This are the water splashes created by the running horses. This has to be realistic. Now, it is giving the sense that the eight horses are running on the river. I've done with my painting. Finally, I could put my signature on it. So here are some of the snapshots taken during the process of my painting. Please take a look. I hope you enjoyed this session, and don't forget to subscribe, if you are interested to see more of it in future. Thank you so much for viewing, and please leave a message in the comments section about my painting. I hope you like it guys. Thank you so much for watching.